So I've just been going through some of my things and I found this uh, which is a blast from the past from my childhood. Um, my mum and dad got this for my brother and myself um, as a sort of a toy to help us learn arithmetic and things and uh, I'm probably showing my age but it still works. This is a speak and maths from Texas Instruments and the feature about this, the cool feature, was that it was a talking computer which in the early 80s was rather remarkable um, and I remember many happy hours playing on this thing. Let's see if it'll work. Okay, um, and I want to press go. Okay, uh, oops, it still works. Enter. That's right, try. One plus six is what? Oops, seven, there we go. You have to wait for it to stop speaking. Now try. Five plus six is what? Um, that'd be eleven. Um, You're right. Next try. <laughs> Three plus five is what? You're correct. Six plus one is what? That's right. Your score is five. Right. Zero. Wrong. Hmm. And you can play lots of different games. Uh, there's Solve It, which you get by pressing Solve it. Level one. the on button and Word problems. Level one. Greater than, less than. Level one. <laughs> I like the music for that one. Uh, write it. I think is you have. It tells you a word. It tells you a number, and you have to write it down. And I love the way uh, the American accent says number stumper. Number stumper, level one. <laughs> wow. Um, so you contrast this uh, with the uh, black mirrors and gizmos and uh, Chromebooks that my kids have today. And it makes you realize just how much um, progress we've made in terms of the power of technology. Uh, but I do wonder whether the stuff that my kids do is really as compelling and as fun as, uh, as this speaker maths was for me when I was, I don't know, six or seven years old.